I'm going to see if you can hear me better this way. Sounds great to me. Okay, I just, I don't know why I never used a headset before. And then I thought, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I think the quality is better, so. I think you're right, yeah. I, How are but, you doing? How are well, you doing? Well, today. Um, I know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Miriam sent me the sweetest message today. And uh, it was nice. So. great well yeah. people remember people think of you and so mm -hmm. you know it's getting through it is the biggest thing what's going on well you know, things going okay well the uh, living room is uh repainted very nice hasn't been painted since the day the house was built uh, wow the dining room where my where my mom and dad slept, you know, it's yes. all the medical equipment's gone. It's been repainted. Get this Broyhill table, dining room table with five chairs and a captain's chair. Wow. Uh, and a buffet table that a uh, cabinet that goes out like this with wings and the cabinet to put the glasses in. That's Broyhill. The whole set was three thousand bucks normally, and I got it on Facebook. Uh, marketplace for 150 well are you going to move into there then yes yes good three are you going to sell your other place yeah i'll have to i can't afford to play <laughs> no you don't need two places this no, is amazing oh yeah well god has been very good in that uh but dana and shmuel both asked me um so how you like your place and i'm like it's full of memories yeah but yeah but dad, yeah go ahead oh the mom and dad's picture is in the living room so they kind of preside over the room you know yeah, it's really cool. yeah yeah it'll be it'll be good do you know what i mean and uh you know it's i might be bitter at bittersweet at times it but is. That's, that's cool that's, and well, we're uh, gonna have we're gonna have shabbat meals uh on mm -hmm. friday as soon as we get all fixed up and, and maybe the Bible study in the family room. I'm so excited. Kent, this is so cool. Oh, it is. It is. It really is. But we're trying to get this estate settled, the trust, you know, the house is in the trust. Yes. And it's 40, 60 days. And uh, they just inspected the house on Friday, actually, the, uh, you know, the um, trust inspector. And so uh seems to be doing pretty well, you know. So we're wow. fixing it up and ready to go, so. Oh, this is this is great. I mean, yeah, it's, well, listen, it's really cool. Well, listen, when you and Jeff come to visit, you can you can. I've got two guest rooms, no waiting. So yeah. You know, wow. Be, uh, wow. Oh yeah. Wow. That's that sounds great. You know, I don't know who's going to be on the call because it's Father's Day, but I know Frances told me she had something going on. I mean, I have almost forty people on this yeah. list, so. I'll give it one more minute and then I'm just going to go over some stuff because, mm -hmm. um, because I was going to, and then I was going to send this out, mm -hmm. but you know, a lot of people have said they're interested, but, um, I've only reserved 15 rooms, which mm -hmm. so, so, but I'm glad that you're here <laughs> and, uh, I'm looking already for the dates for 2024 in may oh, i oh. pretty much had the dates so i just have to get the ticket now so um but well why don't we have you pray i don't see anybody else so would you yeah. open in prayer i certainly will uh, our heavenly father thank you for this meeting and uh, we thank you for all the logistics that are going to go into this and father we're asking right now Hashem yeshua in jesus name that you would uh guide us to where he wants to go in israel this time uh mm. we we appreciate the directive that three-word directive as god leads and lord we want you to lead this we've had so many successes so father i pray that you'll yes. get the right people to come and that you will provide the right uh accommodations and logistics Hashem Yeshua. Amen. amen amen so are you thinking of coming Oh, oh, there was, there's nothing to think about i'm going <laughs> okay good i just wanted to be well, sure yeah. and you had mentioned when a person being interested so 
Yes, um, uh, yeah, she walks with me in the mornings. Uh, her name is Lola Pinto. She's Brazilian. I've known yes. her for gosh, when she and her husband moved here about oh, 2003. And her boys were having a scholarship or a soccer scholarship, I think. And uh, her husband was a soccer player. He played with Pele. That's pretty cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah. Well, anyway, she's got a cafe and her boys or one of her boys has a Capoeira Academy. And she lost her husband here about 13 years ago. So anyway, she uh, we just kind of re reconnected because, you know, she found out dad had died. And she lost her mom in January. In fact, I've noticed uh, there have been some people who actually lost their a parent in January of this year. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but she was like she she travels a lot. She would like to go to Israel. I said yes, yes. Uh, well, um, and do you speak Spanish with her too? No, she speaks Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. Okay, <laughs> but okay. she speaks English. She's had she's she's pretty sharp. She's you know, and she's uh actually italian descent you know there's a lot of them in, in brazil so uh, yes yeah good but, uh, her mom yeah her mom died in january and her dad died in march so uh she's been trying to just kind of figure things out she's a believer um and uh oh just to see israel and all that just a big dream for her i said well this is the best kind you know, this is the best kind because it's not a tour. We do sightsee. Yes. But, yeah. Yeah. That's, and, uh, yeah. That's that's great. Um, um, you know, I mean, I'm grateful for the alumni that are going to be coming, and um, so uh, I'm just going to go over a few things because if it's just you and I, um, okay. you know, I'm still going to go over the points that I have. And the sure. first one was that Sarel already wants me to get them a list of people that are coming or possibly coming. So I know there's Joe and Lucy, there's you and I, and possibly Francis, but anybody else beyond that, um, oh, Brad, yeah, and right. then maybe Belinda, but uh, I, no, Belinda is not coming. So um, she'll hopefully come in May if she comes through this bout of yeah. stuff. You know, so, but that is now, um, so that's what's going on with that. You know, I've only got 15 rooms, so I wanted to make sure that that was discussed on here because to me, if I was thinking, I'd be kind of a little edgy and worried about being able to go, you know, I wanted to get my information in quicker than you later. edgy? Come on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, well, I can understand that. That's kind of like this lady in the hotel uh, at uh, Prima Kings. She was, uh, maybe you saw her at breakfast. She was a uh, kind of heavy set lady with a head scarf, and she was talking and she's smiling. And I said, and she was just a hoot. And Rochelle and I were standing there, and I said, "Excuse me, ma'am, but I'm just digging your New York accent." And she said, <laughs> "I'm from Brooklyn. What accent?" Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> it's great. And uh, um, one thing we are going to, I've never stayed at the Jerusalem Ramada. We'll be at BY uh, 14, a different one up in Tiberias, oh, and really? then Jerusalem Ramada. And I asked them to search around. I don't know why I don't, I didn't feel positive about that, but I have to let that go because we'll still be in the city. But I've never stayed there. Um, but I was thinking because I'm waiting to get the price because I don't know if we'll do the uh, mezuzah making factory only because it's a hundred dollars a person and that's really? up to everybody if they want to pay that. I mean, they take credit card. I think it's well, Sarshalem Israel paid for that in May and I can't really swing that expense for October. So I was going to take a consensus to see if people wanted to do that, but, there's another activity I'm checking into, and it's a biblical scavenger hunt in Jerusalem. Ooh, I'm not I thought yeah. I thought that might be kind of cool, a, a scavenger hunt. So we'd be <laughs> looking for biblical clues, you know. So anyway, yeah. oh, um, Bible things. Pardon? It's a good learning experience. 
Yes. Yes. And so, and also when you've gone, have you done the travel, the travel insurance with travel guard? Uh, I did it with another one. Another one okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that as well i mean it just might be you and i and our meeting just might be 15 20 minutes no you problem, know no which is fine uh, which is fine well yeah um how so how many people so far have expressed that? how many that because i saw joe and lucy brad myself you and i that's what left them. and then francis i mean there's several people that have shown interest mm -hmm. but um almost 40 really but um but i know one lady she's out of the country another lady would be a roommate so i didn't think she'd be on the call oh there's another couple out of the west uh united states and they're signed up okay. patty and tom morris so mm -hmm. there's maybe about eight to ten so hmm. far um that look pretty sure so i'm just kind of waiting to see I thought maybe more people be on here, but then I think, well, it's because it's Father's Day. So, and then Jeff and I are in Houston area next weekend. The next day he goes to um, England and I'll be following suit July the 5th for 12 days and then on to Germany and then here. And then he's a candidate. He's the only candidate for executive director with the UMJC. And so we're going up to their conference in Ohio until July the 23rd or something like that. So, you know, I won't really be able to breathe in July until maybe the 30th or the 31st. So I thought I better get this on the, on, you know, going now or yeah. people be in the dark and then it's August. So. Well, so are you, you're not going to be an MJA then? No. And I'm heartbroken about it, yeah. but because Jeff was asked to speak at Cambridge July the 6th or 7th, maybe it's the 7th. There was no way we were going to be able to do all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the UMJC opportunity came up because he's always been a member of both the MJAA and the UMJC. So we covet your prayers yeah. about that. But no, and I heard you're going to get to go. Well, it's so hilarious. Um, I wasn't going to go. And then uh, Lori Wilson asked me, hey, you going to get the early bird discount? I said, well, uh, no, I'm not going to go. And I don't know what it was. I, I, it was kind of like I was standing in the middle of, the, of a gymnasium basketball court, and all this whole crowd of people are over on this side. And all of a sudden, they're just passing by me, and one grabs my arm and says, come on, we're going to the other side. So I end up spending my 600 bucks. <laughs> That's great. You're going to let, are you going to ride up with them? Yeah, we're going to, we got a big band. We got a uh, Peter Vanderster, you know, he's going to be uh, my roommate and uh, his wife, Jenny was uh, um, Kimball's roommate, you know, so I was just really. Um, and you'll stay for the whole time. And have you been before? You've been once before, right? Or not? Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. You and Jeff were there. Uh, 2019. Right, right, right before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. I mean, I love it. I'm going to really, really miss it because I'm just really going to miss it and miss all the people. But, um, where's UMJC we'll just, hold their conference? Uh, UMJC is different places. So, this is in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Um, I guess that's because that's where Howard Silverman lives. But I, I don't know. I know some of the people like Rich Nicole and Russ Resnick, mm -hmm. Elliot Clayman, Jerry Feldman, yeah. but that's all that I know. So, and, you know, because of my love of Shmuel, um, no comment regarding my relationship with Jerry. I don't think he likes me and I'm going to leave it <laughs> well, there. Yeah. And you can, you know why. So, yeah. but, you know, it's a new season and we'll just see what, god will do well true yeah you know? i mean i mean you and jeff have great teachings and i can see why yeah. the would want you yeah uh, yeah and we'll uh, yeah we'll see i mean at this point i don't know so um yeah. you know 
Well, Kent, it's you and I, and okay. uh, I don't know if you have any other questions. I can cut this short and. Oh, okay. um, well, yeah, I got always have question. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the first question. Um, sure. We have prices yet. Yes, it's going to be around twenty four hundred dollars. It depends on if people. It's twenty four hundred, unless people want to do because the rooms are a little bit more expensive. If people want to do the um, scavenger hunt, and I'll let that's double occupancy, ten nights, breakfast and dinner, which again I think is great. Oh yeah, um, that's the best. And yeah. I sent out my flights and everything, but I want to see if people want to do the scavenger hunt. And then possibly the menor the uh, mezuza making. I'm hoping the scavenger hunt. I mean, she, I think she gave me the pricing. Let me see what she told me. It was like something from zero to fifteen people. It was one price. And then um, let me see if I got it on Sar Shalom Israel. Let me see what she said. It's um. She said, um, it's about, um, I asked her what these places were. So it looks like it's about a hundred shekels, about $30. So I really thought that would be uh, good instead, wow. but I don't have, I want to be sure that it's something that we want, that we want. Right. Mm -hmm. you know so anyway right. so i'll i'll see because there are all these places but i have no idea i know about let me well let me read it i mean maybe you do but i don't yeah she said um there's two types of group um scavenger hunt one is the classic one and it includes the old city Nachalat, B'nai Mitzvah, um, Zev, uh, Nevi Zedek. And then there's another one that has Shuk Dash, which I thought that would be fun through the Shuk, Windmill Dash, Mall Dash, oh. Svat Dash. So I don't know. I, I said, please let me know what this is because I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what it was that she's talking about. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, hmm. I've I've been on scavenger hunts, but you know, I don't yeah. know. Everyone's different. Every there's there are very many there are a lot of formats you can have. Well, well they're fun. They're fun. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so fun. I thought, well, you know, um, let me pull this up. Let me see. Well, uh, it's just kind of weird here. Yeah. So, but I'll uh, okay. I'll get some more information on that and um, we'll see where oh. we go. Okay. And uh, how, how are plane prices looking, airplane prices? Uh, well, I looked for May of 2024 and they've come down. So my flight was probably $2,200, but, you know, I have to get it so far out for this trip right. that I'm hoping they're a little bit less. How far out do you usually book ahead? I mean, six months? 11 months. 11 months? Wow. Yeah, I have I to. I because... going, how is she beating us to the punch here? It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's because the hotels, you know, and I have to do it now, and they're already <laughs> booking into 2025. So. Well, good for them. Good for them. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad the trout, you know, that's good. And, um so, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to Israel August the 4th uh, oh, to okay. the 10th, just by myself. Uh, I'll see Sandy. I'll see a cousin. I'm planning mm -hmm. to volunteer um, at Daniel Stern with Daniel Stern, Martha's son. There's a oh. soup kitchen, but they, we might have too many people for that. I don't know, uh, yeah. but I'm going to go regardless and see well maybe we can help them pack in the morning or so i don't know uh, we'll see how that goes and um and maybe the scavenger hunt thing i got to check into as well okay 
Uh, the reason I asked about the plane price is, well, not just out of curiosity, but I'm thinking mainly of uh, going there maybe a few, few days ahead. There Yeah. are, yeah, there are several reasons for this. Well, a few. One is this last trip, I'm so, so trying to find what my purpose is over there. You know, Sure. I love going with you and I would do it in a heartbeat, as you know, I do. But what am I supposed to do over there? You know, before I left, Kokeb called me. Oh, yes. Yes. And he because he came to visit Orha Alam and I saw him. He hey, brother, what are you do? And he asked um, and he and I were talking about this because because dad had just passed away and uh, I my whole future is kind of up for grabs. And he said, well, I'll call you, you know, and he did. And he called me just before. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what my purpose is uh, going. Yeah. The second thing is that um, uh, Dahlia Adaret's uh, daughter, Seagal, uh, we, uh, Rochelle and I talked to her, you know, on the phone. We called her when we were in Jerusalem. She lives in Tel Aviv. Yes. And the doll said, well, listen. And I said, well, you know, let's get together. Let's all get together for coffee. And she said, yes, let's do. Because she grew up in Kansas City. She went to Center High School. She's two Yes. years younger. Yeah. And Rochelle went to Center. So we, Here we, comes somebody else. oh, great. All right. So what we did was, um, oh, Patty. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we did. And also, um, So, yeah, I'm thinking it's going out there a little earlier than normal and stuff. Well, So, that's always good. well, I something mean, that really. is, that's why I like everybody to do their own Mm -hmm. travel. And then because some people like to stay later or, or whatever. So, and, and you know, hi, Pat, how are you doing? You're on mute. You're on, we can't hear you. She's up in the Northwest. No, she's in Houston. Sorry, Houston. Pat, we can't hear you. Um, but I'm glad she came on. I, I You can probably hear us, Pat, but um, okay. Thank you, Ken. Unmute <laughs> we'll keep your you mic, straight. Patty. We met her, I met her face to face in April, but she's kind of been on the address list for like a year, year and a half. Um, so her and her husband have their reservations and they're coming. So it's Oh, them, great. it's Joe and Lucy and All right. um, you, me, Francis. I mean, Lynn had expressed interest, but I don't know. So, and I have another couple um from nashville that are talking about coming so um Okay. yeah yeah but and I, and then i just let me read this because this is the scavenger hunt and this is what it says old city scavenger hunt discover the secrets of the old city uh ancient places tremendous events and then um um this is the one i want to do Jerusalem Watchman Scavenger Hunt. This new tour game will allow you to explore Mount Zion in the Jewish quarter through the joint prism of biblical text and modern reality. So that's the one that I wanted to get some information on. And Sounds like uh, you need a tour guide and stuff like that, right? yeah, but um, but I thought, well. So Yeah. anyway, I just kind Worth of thought it. that that might be fun. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it sounds, it sounds exciting to me. Yeah, kind of different. So, well, I don't know where Patty is and maybe she just, she just left. So, Well, we got um, a, I had a really exciting thing happen Friday afternoon. You know, Texas Roadhouse opens at four and there's always a line, right? <laughs> so yes. I decided to go eat there that uh, Friday afternoon. And I, I get this. So my waitress comes and she's this young kid. She's in college. And I noticed her name was Maya, M-Y-A. And I said, 
oh, I, I have an Israeli friend whose sister's name is Maya, but she lives in Israel. And she just went, really? I said, yeah. She says, I'm Palestinian. I said, no kidding. You know, she said, yeah. She said, my mom is Muslim Arab and my dad is Czech Republic Catholic. I said, that's an interesting combination. She wow. Said, we talked a little bit. I said, yeah, I've been to Israel many times. We do charity work, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that is so cool. You know? Well, at the time, there's this that's cool. couple over to my left just got seated and they've been eating. And then I saw them talking to her about that. And then it was time for me to go. And the lady there said, uh, sir, excuse me. Did you say you went to Israel? I said, yeah, I've been 16 times. Oh, I, and we started talking. She was Jewish and reform and came from Western Kentucky. She and her husband met on a mess on, on a Jewish website. And uh, I said, so you reformed. Well, do you go to Temple B'nai Yehuda? And she said, well, you can't shy away from that because, you know, there's a lot of money there. I said, well, OK. I said, how about uh, how, how about I invite you to my congregation or Ha Olam? You know, it's messianic. But she said, okay, ma'am, she seemed cool with it. So, wow. Who knew? <laughs> I just cool. Was, all I wanted was a steak dinner and I get this. Oh, I, that is really cool. I wished I had a gospel coin in my pocket. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cause that you know, is living, cool. Well, you never know, Kent. Yeah. Your yeah. seed planting, that's all you can be responsible for. That yeah. is really cool. Oh, it's great. And, uh, and so did you have any other questions about October? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So prices uh, and logistics, all that. You say possibly Jerusalem, Ramada Inn, right? Okay. Yeah, that is where we're staying. Okay. Okay. We are, okay. Let me get that down. Yeah. I don't even know where it is. Uh, let's hope it's close to the old city. I don't want to say I've seen it, but I, I have a feeling we may have to drive a little bit. Or no, take yeah. the light rail. Uh, okay, so hotel, um, plane tickets. Was there, um, oh, okay, uh, you were talking about adding something to because Shlomi and Miriam are going to be gone. Um, yeah, I know, and I was going to go into all that. Um, we are doing something in conjunction with Israel Relief Aid with Joe Kaplan, and we, she has put together. Uh, an outreach with Shmuel Birnbaum up in Bat Yam. And so we're Birnbaum. gonna, Gosh. yeah, I oh, know, yeah. I'm really excited. And um, so we're gonna have some more, I think, food packages delivered. And then we're gonna be up there around, I think, 845, assemble the bags mm -hmm. and then hand them out. We'll be doing that till about. Two, or we'll be with him to, at about two. I've never been to Bat Yam. I'm looking forward to it. So we're doing that. We'll probably still do Avi and Chaya, um, you know, Schneider Children's. Oh, uh, yeah. We're hoping to connect with um, up in Nazareth, um, Beautiful Land Initiative, and Pick Up Trash. We are going to connect with Salim. Um, there was something else up in uh, um, in the high in not Haifa, but in the Galilee area, and then um, down to Jerusalem. Some of that stuff, but I'm still trying to. Okay, now Sandy Kolb is not connected with Leket anymore, so I'm oh, yeah. trying. No. But he still has the farm. Still so um, I need to make sure that he's still, you know, it's charity. Right. Okay. I'm not going to go pick vegetables for profit, right. for a profit company. So I need to check into that and I'll, I'll do that. Well, that's good because uh, Dana's parents live right next door to it. Right. Right. And so. Um, Possibility of like it. Okay. Yeah. I just need to see. Um, is if Sandy Kolb is charity. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, Dove, you're talking about um, uh, Aviv. Uh, Aviv, uh, Aviv, yeah. That, God willing, will be on that final Sunday um, okay. that will be there. And um, 
So, and he's, he's doing okay. So, I mean, there's still, you know, I thought we could work at the soup kitchen in Jerusalem, but I'm not sure about how big it's going to be. Yeah. And it's kind of, it's kind of weird when you have to work where people are normally working and you're only going to be there. You know, right. Just, yeah. Right. I remember King of the Kings, we had a similar thing. Yeah. And that's, this is over on Narca Street, Joshulam. But I do really? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't wow. know. Yeah. I don't know if they can accommodate. I don't know what size. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff that we're going to do, want to do plant trees at Sandy Shoshani, things like oh, that. Okay. And I'm so, um, are we ever going to uh, go see her at the office too, or just go to Gardens of Life? Uh, it's easier at the garden. Right. right. And I think <laughs> nicer, you know. Well, and yeah. um, I remember so that Chinese we'll... fire drill we used to have. Oh, man. Pardon? I remember that Chinese fire drill we used to have getting all that stuff off the bus. And... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> It was, it was just though. crazy. Oh, it was insane. <laughs> crazy. No, great. Yeah. And I saw the yeah. new video. Oh, wonderful video of Sandy. Yeah. Uh, of, oh, it was great. Yeah. It was yeah. great. She, and she, thank you. You know, I haven't done anything more with the brochure. I just. I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Well, I, I just saw it. haven't had time. Well, I'll tell you. Would you listen? Would you like me to. Did you like the last one I sent you? Was yeah. It yeah. Mm -hmm. I just. I just have to have it more. I just need to take the time to look at it again. I mean, okay. it, it, you know, and I just tweak do, it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I know you have trouble with templates and all that. I, I'll, you listen, you just, I'll send you what I got. And if you, and you just okay. make it, send, send it back, I'll tweak it for you. Okay. Thank and you. That we'll get it down. It really to helps. Well, we had, fun. you know, a water heater flood and just restoration oh. the past two weeks and so oh, the rest the restoration the heating and get you know getting everything destroyed and pulled out is done but now we need the rebuilding so yeah so i've got stuff but then we're going to be gone for almost a month so i'm um, really going crazy so that's why this is a priority so yeah right okay. so Great. so other questions and uh, thank you those were great okay good um yeah no that's uh that's about all i have uh, I know. Can, I, can i call you after we get this through because yeah. i've got some to discuss okay sure all right I'm gonna get so, my headset um, out and that's do you want to close in prayer uh yes I'll, i guess i hope i guess i might as well yeah <laughs> all right I'm using you a lot today kent well, I appreciate that. I really Good. do. All right. Uh, Abba Father, thank you that uh, we were small in number, but uh, very clear on these things. And Lord, we we have our wish list and we would like uh, that if you have a better wish list for us, that would be yes. even better than Lord, you just go ahead. Um, I pray, Father, that the concerns of cost will be alleviated, that mm. uh, that we'll um, not just have, uh, uh, that we'll be able to have fun and, and learn something, but more importantly, Lord, is that we learn more about you and what do you want from us and what is required. And also, Lord, I pray for uh, wit more witnessing opportunities. You've been bringing them to us, Lord, and I pray that that will be the the focus as when uh, as, as God leads, as you lead, Lord, uh, that we can be able to uh, oh, um, witness and have those opportunities. I pray for the uh, that you bless the gospel coins that we have in Hebrew, Arab, Arabic, and uh, Russian, and pray that you'll um, give us those um, uh, give us those people that you want us to speak to. That all of a sudden you just say that, and that we will be obedient in spite of the fact that we may be weak from jet lag or or um or just the wonder of it all or just hunger whatever it is lord we pray that you will show us the people to point us to the and pray that we don't bruise the fruit but mm. that we uh but that we bring it to life lord so i just ask all this and pray for the subsequent meetings that we'll have Hashem Yeshua, in jesus name amen 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 mm -hmm. okay kiddo
All right, I'll give you a call in a few seconds. Okay, great. I got my headset right here. Okay, great. Okay, right. be continued. You okay. bet. Love All you, right. friend. Okay, Love talk you. to you in a few. Bye.